Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer V3-371 series laptop. The exact model for this one is a model MS2392. You can find those specific model numbers at the bottom of the laptop. Right at the bottom it will say Acer Aspire V3-371 series or you say model number MS2392. And there's a longer version of the 371-37.7K. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can repaste and clean up the fan system, the motherboard, easy on few with a few tools that you require. You should be doing your maintenance servicing every once in a while, as these are uh, Intel processors. They will get overheated over time, and they will bring down the clock hertz speed and it will over throttle so it's good to do this once in a while again this applies for any v3-371 series so it doesn't have to be specifically this model it can be any of the model in the inside this series so the tools that you're going to be needing is that a screwdriver set i recommend you guys to grab this ifixit screwdriver set the pro version or the single screwdriver set the screws are made out of the S2 class steel. That means they are really tough on the steel. It will last you a much longer period of time comparing to other brands. If you don't want to get the Pro set, just simply get the screwdriver set. Uh, for the opening tool, they do include it in the Pro set, but if you want, you can just grab a, a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers, plastics, boxes, everything. And they are really tough and soft edges. All right, with these two on hand, next you will need an alcohol. Isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. You need a workshop towel. I don't recommend you guys to use a cloth or anything like that. Use these towels because the fabric on this one is really easy to rip, so it won't damage the capacitors on the board. And you will need your temp more paste. A favorite temp more paste is an Arctic MX4 for a normal use but if you want to go a little overboard and crazy go with the thermal grizzly cry not again all the links for these products are in my video description check them out all right so with all this on hand we're going to start removing all the screws on the bottom cover power it off make sure it's powered off and start removing all the screws there's a screw right under the yellow cover right here yellow tape so we need to remove that one too so go ahead and remove all the screws all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, I realize there's only 1% of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. If you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel just by clicking like and subscribing to the channel. I will greatly appreciate it, and it will be a great support for the channel. It motivates me to make, to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions. And help out in general. With the screws removed, now you need to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Now you want to twist it towards the uh, front or top, just twist, wiggle it around. I'll twist it towards the screen, it's easier. And once you loosen up the front side, do the same thing on the sides. Go all the way to the left and right side. This side, it already came out. Go back corner. If you need to, do the back end too. On the other side, just stick it and look, the cover just came out on this one. It was really easy. Grab the bottom cover. You can grab an old toothbrush. I forgot. Yes, you will need a toothbrush to clean up the dust filter right in here. I don't know why the dust filter is in there. It should be right on top here in this other side over here. I guess in some other model they find it was over here, but they forgot to upgrade the placement of here. So yeah. Anyway, just clean up the bottom cover. And now down here you want to disconnect the fan first. I mean the battery first by pulling this jack backward, grabbing from the corners and then pulling it back. Now we're going to disconnect the fan by pulling this cable backward 
Don't yank on the cables. I don't like yanking on the cables. Just grab a tweezers. Uh, I'm going to use a curved tweezers. Put the tweezers beside the jacks right there. And slide them backward so that way you don't damage or tense. Put attention on the cable. You will need to remove a screw for the fan right here by the Wi Fi. You want to remove three screws on the heatsink. The screws have a C lock on them so they will not get loose. You just have to, they will not come out entirely. So loose them up and then lift up the heatsink and bring it up. And there's your heatsink. It is pretty clean. You can grab a old toothbrush and you can clean it up. But we're going to leave it to one side. I don't know what kind of garbage thermal paste it has in here. Obviously somebody opened it up already. So we're going to remove this thermal paste that is on top here. And we're going to clean up the heat sink too. We don't want any of this garbage thermal paste here. We're going to service up the fan. It's very important to service up the fan. To open up the fan, there's one, two, three screws. Go ahead and remove those three screws. Those are Phillips double zero. If you want to service your laptop, do it nicely. Don't do a half-ass job. Uh, remove the fan. Grab a toothbrush and clean up the duct system and blow some air through here. Or even if you want to, go ahead and wash it up. Leave it for drying. Uh, for the fan here. You can simply grab the fan from the sides here evenly and pull it out. And uh, you can see it is very bone dry, even it's full of dust in there. So look at the dust build up in here. So you want to clean it up gently with a toothbrush and clean up the fan system too. So just take it outside and just polish it out. All right, I'm going to show you a nice trick to clean up the inside, even if you cleaned up the dust. All you need to do is Grab a workshop towel and just fold it over and over a little bit in the corner and just dump it in there in the alcohol. And now what you want to do, you want to stick it right in there and just rotate down in there. Just a few turns to clean up all those dust so we can lubricate it nicely. So you can actually rotate freely. It will be less noisy. Look at all this. Garbage right on top. So we want to clean it up nicely. Do a few turns. You don't have to completely get it clean. It might still do some dirtiness, but as long as you do one or two pass, that's fine. You don't need to go crazy. And you want to grab a lubricant. I'm going to be using a three-in-one type of lubricant. And we're going to inject one or two drops maximum in the center. We don't want to overdo. Just slowly control yourself. One or two. If you do more, just suck it back inside the syringe. And with those two drops in there, you can simply grab the fan, put it on top, and just do a few turns, pick it up, let it go down so it can just lubricate itself nicely. So this is going to be really quiet and it's going to do a better job. So anyway, you want to do your service, you better do this. And then you want to plug it right where it was and put the screws right on the other side. All right, once you have this one ready to go, just do a one last pass on the on the copper and even on the CPU so you don't have any grease from your fingerprint and you can see this decoloration on here and this will prevent from heat contacting nicely through there is a little trick I use I use a silver or copper cleaner a liquid or paste format whatever you can get your hands on and use a q-tip if yours is cream just use a towel to do work on it I just grab a little bit and bring it on and look at it will bring the true copper right over so the contact is going to be much better so all you need to do clean up in the center you don't need to clean up the whole thing and remove everything you can you see those three dots in the middle so i'm going to keep rubbing until i clean up the whole thing 
and it is not noticeably much cleaner now what you need to do this one actually smells horrible you want to grab your thermal paste you want to put a tiny line on the big die and tiny drop on the small die and next just grab the heat sink bring it over with the fan and align it over and put the three screws nicely over and put the screw for the fan on this side connect the fan just slide it in the jack right there and you should be set to go just double check make sure the screws are tightened up in there and the last thing is to connect the battery right into the jack evenly bring it and connect it right in there and the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover bring it over straight snap it in place just squeeze down on the side make sure you hit those clicks on the side in the front and to finish it up just slap in all the screws on the bottom cover again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys through your own services if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video if you want to support the channel you know what to do just click that like button and subscribe to the channel that's all you need to do